Hello guys and welcome to episode 5 of our 12 bottle bar series where I show you how to make great cocktail at home using 12 bottles. For this episode, we're gonna look at the Morito. The Morito is a very fine drink that somewhat maybe got a bad rap because it was overdrunk and was put at all the variation with any kind of fruits. But to me, it's a very fine drink that serves its purpose. It's keeping you cool and refresh you during hot summer days. It probably started his life as a farm worker drink in Cuba being just a mix of mint, lime, sugar and rum and at some point migrated to the bars and nightclub of Cuba and got the addition of ice and soda water. To make a delicious morito it's very easy. Gonna need your tall glass, mint, lime, sugar, rum. Gonna start with the mint. Gonna put a couple of leaves, I mean couple quite a few leaves because you, you want that fresh crisp taste for if you have seen the episode of the of the julep it's pretty similar it's the same principle you want that mint to give like a crisp fresh taste then lime juice always think about the balance here i'm gonna use 25 ml i never use i know the recipe called for soda water but i never use soda water because to me i do not see the point really because when you use cracked ice or crushed ice anything that is remotely fizzy or even really fizzy gonna fall flat and just gonna add dilution to your drink so i, I do not see why you should add more dilution if you already have your ice so here we've got mint 25 ml of lime i've put 20 ml of sugar a little bit more heavy on the sugar, but it's for one reason. I'm not using soda water, but I like my Morito a little heavier on the rum side, and I use 60 ml of rum. Plantation rum, absolutely delicious. It's a blend from Trinidad, Jamaica, and Barbados. They do a fantastic job. It works in a lot of classic drinks. It's really good to sip, and for the purpose of this series, it's got a really good price. Here we are. And now we're gonna gently push a little bit on the mint leaves, not shredding them with a muddler, just to release the oil, again, like with the mint julep. And you'll see a lot of recipes as well that are more on the old style way, where you would have pieces of lime and sugar, uh, raw sugar, crystallized sugar that would be muddled together, I use lime juice and sugar syrup for the sake of consistency. When I want to make myself a mojito, I know exactly how it's going to taste. And it will always taste the same. Perfect. And now we're going to add our cracked ice. To make cracked ice, if you have a big cube of ice, just use a rolling pin or even a pot. Put your ice in a, in a clean kitchen towel and just smack it around. As you can see, I have bigger, smaller piece. The smaller piece is gonna give dilution, while the bigger piece is gonna keep the drink nice and cold. And as you can see, at least to me, it is really appealing. Those beautiful mint leaves floating around. And now we want to go up and down to bring the mix of sugar, lime, and rum sort of evenly around the glass. I'm gonna really top it up with the ice. There we are, perfect. There we go. Super refreshing, love it. Then we're gonna stick a straw in there. And we're gonna take a few heads of mint and we're gonna make it pretty. And as well, we're gonna stick the mint close to the straw. So every time you take a sip, you've got that nice fresh smell coming to your nose. And here you go, guys, the mojito. Cheers. But that's another drink I could drink all day, any day. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know this one was a little shorter, but nonetheless, this is a delicious drink. Let me know at, and tag me at Cocktail with Adrian if you mix a mojito at home. And please let me know in the comment if there is any more white run drink that you would like to see on the channel. Cheers!